Hi everyone, I'm Lala. Welcome to my channel today. I'm going to be playing in makeup, but I'm also going to be giving y'all a life update. I know how much I love them. <laughs> the last video you saw, it was, you know, it was a really bad moment, but I did post on my community page a uh, update. You know, things are looking better than it was at that moment i'm showing you the products i'm using just in case y'all have any questions um all right so here's what happened so when i last left y'all i was at a desperate state and me and rue wasn't really getting along and um but we were healthy and that's what we i guess that's all you can ask for as far as the covid was ending um <clears throat> and then my knee that is still going on i um i just i'm not gonna deal with that doctor that i previously dealt with because of that incident that happened there it's just i don't feel comfortable i don't feel like i'm gonna get the care or the respect so i just decided to move on from there from them um and when i do i'll get the mri it's gonna be a process but it's gonna get done like everything it'll be done it shall pass um so everything was going fine and dandy and then my dog coco stopped eating and if you know coco then you know her not eating that just don't go that don't mix like she she is a foodie like me she's definitely my me she a mini me she she's a foodie she loves to eat that's her favorite thing to do she loves to sleep that's her favorite thing to do and um, <clears throat> she was doing a lot of sleeping and no eating and no drinking water. And I had noticed that, I guess, like on, um, I guess, it was, I want to say it was a Friday. So, we were watching her, monitoring her. You know, we got them all ready, prepared, got them all cleaned up so that I can get my cuddles. I was more, more or less um, cleaning them up so that I could cuddle with them. I was being very selfish. It was more for me because I hurt that they give um your brain the serotonin and dop d dopamines or something like that so she was there we were monitoring her she was laying in our bed she slept in our bed that night she didn't eat she didn't want she we ate pizza and she loves a sausage and i gave her a piece she looked at it and didn't even she just left it there juju ate it so um i knew something was wrong so then the next morning she is not herself she's very lethargic she stands up and she's kind of in a daze um she doesn't want to eat she doesn't want to drink she, we every morning we eat a sausage mcmuffin she and i always get extra sausage for them she didn't want nothing to do with it juju was having a ball because he was getting all her leftover scraps <laughs> so then what ha happened was um and I was worried. That was a, a real big for a big concern. That was just like and then I started like I just started okay, I'm not gonna be that parent that lets her suffer. That's not gonna be me. My child, like I'm gonna be selfless. I'm not gonna be selfish. If my child needs me to put her down, I am not going to cry in front of her, first of all. I did not want to cry in front of her. I did not break down in front of her because her last days would not be me crying and sad because because i know my dog she's a brave dog she will not leave me if i'm crying sad she will stay here suffering just to comfort me so i was not going to do that and also was not going to let her suffer so she was like i said she was out of it she was not herself she was she didn't want to give daddy kisses her daddy's her favorite person grandma's her favorite person she didn't want to give nobody kisses she didn't want to do with none with nobody she was just snuggled up she was her ears were hot um her her body was shaking um uh, she was throwing up when she would drink water she was drinking water but when she would drink it she would immediately puke it up and um so i was just like, okay so i started looking for i swear to you i was planning her funeral i was gonna get a, a, a euthanasia put her down put her to sleep at my house it was gonna be like two, i looked it up it was gonna be 208 dollars for an appointment but I was like, no, I don't want her to suffer. Like, this can't, I can't. And so then my mom came, and as soon as she saw my mom, she kind of looked up, and she didn't want to lay down. But my mom was so, my mom is just a really great nurturer. She just, like, just so, just, just, that's her, that's her, um, 
her position in life. Like she was just meant to be a nurse. And so she's just so comforting. And so I just knew, like, I just knew. I was like, she just needs to see mom. I'm not right, babe. Yeah. I was saying the whole day, I was like, if she, I just need her to see mom. Cause when she sees mom, I know she's going to get better. I know. I just know it. Sure enough, my mom sat there all day. Luckily, my mom locked her. She's been locking her keys in her car. And she's been doing this all the time. And her poor boyfriend has to save her ass all the time. So, um, she locked her key. Luckily, she locked her keys in the car and she couldn't leave my house. So, she was just going to go in and, and just comfort her for a little bit and leave. No, she locked her keys. So, she was there the whole day. And sure enough, by the time my mom was leaving, she was eating kibbles and bits. Right? And we caught her eating. And I was like, okay, she's eating. She didn't throw it up. And then... Rue comes home from work and she sees Rue and she's I think she's still kind of you know it's like when my mom left her energy left it was so weird anyway so then um what happened babe uh, she started getting better at night time oh so then at the night no no, oh, no she was not better she went back to sleeping she didn't want to eat or drink so I was like okay if she does not but we were hopeful because she ate at that little bit yeah, when mom was there she didn't throw it up so I was like, okay, she doesn't eat by the morning and she doesn't want to eat breakfast. That's it. We're going to the emergency room. That's it. Sure enough, we woke up. And um, we woke up kind of late on Sunday. You thought that's a range, thing. Oh, yeah. By the way, I was giving her Pedialyte and water and she wasn't throwing it up. I was feeding her through a syringe, but she was keeping it down. So um, that's what we did Saturday, right? Yeah. Saturday night. That's what we yeah. did all night. We're doing that. The morning time... We woke up kind of late in the morning. She was a little slow, but let me tell you, when I know my child, I ordered for lunch. We ordered Mexican in. We didn't order Mexican. We ordered Mexican food in that in our house. Okay, pick up. And Raul ordered fajita nachos. I ordered a fajita taco salad. Let me tell you, I know my child. So she was sitting, laying on the bed, all depressed and sick, and I chewed up. A piece of fajita. Let me tell you, honey. I chewed up a piece of fajita. And I put it near her. Girl, let me tell you. She started eating. And then she looked up at me and wanted more. And when I tell, I was like, oh my God, you're eating. And I was like, babe, she's eating, she's eating. And she wanted more. Girl, I would, you never, girl, I never want to be giving up my fajita meat. But for my child, my sick child. I gave up my fajita meat because she was she would only eat it if I if I was um, crunching it up, and then she started. And I, you know how I know, also know she was better when Raul put her on the ground. She was running back and forth to our fajita meats. She wanted a piece of fajita meat from him and wanted one from me. She was going back and forth like her old self. She was being her old fat her old fat little greedy self, and you don't even know how happy I was. And I immediately texted mom. I said, mom, she ate, she ate. She's eating, she's eating. I was like, Coco, you're back to normal. And I said, daddy kisses. Boom. She gave daddy a kiss. I said, mama kisses. She gave me a kiss. She was even giving Juju a kiss. And um, she went outside and she looked at the sun. And then she was back to her own self. And the relief I felt when she ate, like I've never felt that. Like just like, oh my God, thank you God. Like right then and there. I knew that God was working on my child. He worked. He put his hands on my child. And by the way, she's a dog. <laughs> she's not my child. She's a fur baby. But um, that, my, I don't know. My mom, I'm telling you, my mom, I think she's a, a healer. Because she spent the whole day just petting Coco, talking to her, and, and, and putting the, the, um, pee pad under her someone because my baby was gagging up but she didn't have nothing in her belly i could i couldn't have done it i couldn't i couldn't i was kind of distraught but i was still staying strong at the same time it didn't make no sense how i was it really don't so that happened and but but i when i tell you this this like i was already ready to put her to sleep but Y'all got to understand, it was not because I gave up on her. It was because I do love her. And I don't want my child to suffer. That is, it's, I, I'm not going to be that mom. That's not going to be me. You know? Because I will see her again. What did you say about uh, dogs in heaven? What did you say? They say, take away for you. When you die, take, take across the river. 
Something to eat with him. He said that the dogs wait for you Let's when you baby. when you die, and then he takes you across the river to, to heaven. <laughs> yeah. So, um, me and Ro, I mean, we're working on our marriage. I feel like every so every few years, um, we gotta work on it. <laughs> <laughs> but I still love my husband. And I still love my pretty wife. And I feel like we're gonna be okay. And you know, having the C word, it's kind of it really messes with your mental health. Mm -hmm. So just remember that, you know, there's hope. Just keep your faith. Yeah. You know, you don't got to believe in my God. You don't have to believe in any religion, but just have some kind of hope. We love you guys. Um, take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Stay safe. Wear your mask. Wash your hands. Wash your ass. And be safe. Wash your hands. And keep safe feet distance. <laughs> okay, bye. Right, so this is my sick knee, and this is the healthy knee. Can you tell a difference? Oh, okay. It's hard to bend this one. Can you tell a difference? I can. <laughs>